Mizzou football looking to turn the senior night send-off dreams into nightmares for Mississippi State today. The Tigers play the Bulldogs at 315. For now, that's it for sports. Now from the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU8 Sports. It was senior night in Starkville last night as the Mizzou Tigers took on Mississippi State. The Bulldogs seniors fighting for their dream senior send-off with a win, but Missouri wasn't interested in the senior day magic. The Tigers traveled to Starkville or to Stark Vegas to repay a debt. They remember a 51 to 32 loss in 2020 and look to break a 2 and 2 all-time tie between the programs. It's not a special day for Mizzou, it's a business trip. And they handle business early. Team captain Christian Williams forces the sack fumble and Dalen Carnell is there to pick up that ball and run it back with enough time to stare down the Bulldog pursuers. It's 7 to 3 Mizzou. Now with the lead, Brady Cook ready to catch that ball and throw it up. Marquise Johnson has two Bulldogs on a leash. He reaches to the top shelf for a 45-yard grab and double coverage that would set up a touchdown. Now up 14 to 10 in the second, Cook feeling it today. He's got time to dial up the number, escape the pocket, and you know who to call, Luther Burden in the back of the end zone for six. Mizzou could not be stopped. Marcus Carroll walks in one of his three touchdowns on the day, and from there on, Mizzou just runs all the way with it. The Tigers get their first SEC win of the season, 39 to 20. After the game, Coach Drinkwitz praised his defense's performance. They were gonna get trash yards, but we had to be great in the red zone and on third down, and, and they were two for 10 on third down, one for third, one for three on fourth down, uh, and we held them to field goals. And so um, just really, really proud of the way the plan came together and the way our team played together to get it done. Now let's bring in KOMU 8's Hudson Summerall down in Mississippi to talk more about how the Tigers pulled off the win. Hudson? When it looks like Mizzou was off to yet another slow start, one play changed it all. Trailing 3-0 and with Mississippi State driving in Mizzou territory, the Tigers got a fumble recovery from Dalen Carnell that he ran back 67 yards for a score. I, I mean, I just seen the end zone. Once I grabbed the ball, I seen the end zone. Touchdown from there. That play seemed to give Mizzou a spark of energy because after that touchdown from Dalen Carnell, Mizzou went on to score three consecutive offensive touchdowns. And that allowed our offense to find themselves because uh, we were struggling early. Mizzou was able to put away the Bulldogs late with a 14-play, 83-yard drive that ended in a Marcus Carroll rushing touchdown, his third of the game. And Mizzou went on to get the win in Starkville, winning their first road conference game of the season and keeping their hopes at a 10-win season alive. From Davis Wade Stadium, I'm Hudson Summerall, KMU 8 Sports. Thanks, Hudson. DeSmet has beaten the Bruins in the Class 6 state quarterfinals the last two years. They played again yesterday to decide who advances to the semifinal. Rockbridge hoping the third time is the charm. On the very first drive of the game, Dylan Duff looking to pass, but Riley rolling almost cuts him in half. The ball is loose and Rockbridge recovers the fumble. Rolling rightfully claims the turnover thrown, trying to tie the game. Brady Davidson throws up a 50-50 ball and the big man Garrett Esner shows his size for the 16-yard touchdown grab. Game tied at 7-7. Rockbridge down late in the fourth. Davidson gets the snap and connects to Esner again for a four-yard touchdown. Rockbridge still trailing 21-14. DeSmet looks to put the game away. Duff will keep it himself and dive through the goal line for the last score. Rockbridge falls to DeSmet for the third time in a row, 28-14. Heading over to Hallsville for the Class 3 quarterfinal against Blair Oaks. Hallsville threatening early. Falcons Shane Linhart makes an incredible diving interception to keep it at zero. Now that's coverage you can count on. Falcons waste no time to turn the turnover into points. Tyler Bax launches a beauty to Jackson Engelbrecht and he's gone all the way to the house for a monster 94-yard touchdown to put six on the board for Blair Oaks. The Falcons looking for more in the second. This time, Bax takes it himself to put the Falcons up 12-0, and it was all Blair Oaks from there. Falcons advance to the state semifinals, winning 49-0. One more state quarterfinal this weekend, Helias at Republic. Sater's down 14-7 in the second. Austin slant to Luke Swan, and the Swan is gone. 80-plus yards later, tie game in the second quarter. Elias down 14 to 21. Season on the line. Fourth down in the fourth quarter. Weaver puts it up and Logan Hillman somehow comes down with it in the end zone to push this one into overtime. Republic misses their field goal, but the Crusaders pound theirs right through the uprights in extra time. Elias advances to the semifinals winning 24 to 21. The football weekend continues today. 
The Kansas City Chiefs are heading to Charlotte to face the Carolina Panthers. We will get to see how this Chiefs team responds to a loss for the first time this season after they fell to the Bills last week. Meanwhile, the Panthers are creeping back to 500 on a two-game win streak and are riding momentum. This game is at noon today. That's it for sports. Back to you. But when the bird arrived on the beach earlier this month, it was malnourished. Parks and Wildlife Service says it's gained nearly eight pounds during its recovery. That's a happy little penguin. I'm glad that they're okay. <laughs> yeah, that had to be scary. I mean, not only is that a culture shock, but you can't even get a bigger temperature change from Australia to Antarctica. That's a great point. Yeah, no, I think by the end of this week, we're all going to be waddling like penguins with the colder <laughs> air. It's going to be pretty bad come about seven days from now. So Also hoping to find our way back home. Yes, yes. exactly. Out, with so. the snowy roads ahead. Yeah, yes. Uh, Hopefully, hopefully we can, <laughs> hopefully that's not until a while, but we'll see, we'll see. Yes, and not malnourished, hopefully we're getting some good Thanksgiving meals. Um, oh, yeah. Happy to hear that penguin is back to a healthy weight though, for sure. Yeah, luckily for the penguin, it's turkey, not penguin eating season. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a way to kick off your Sunday morning. Thanks for waking up with us today. We'll be back.